as Spennymoor Town play host to Hereford FC in the National League North. This afternoon's game sees Spennymoor play a second successive home game and we're looking to cement their place in the top seven of the Vanarama National League North, whereas today's visitors, Hereford, are looking for points to pull away from the bottom three of the league. It's three changes with uh, Callum Williams coming in at left back, Robert Atkinson playing alongside James Curtis at centre half. Chris Thackeray is, looks like he's going to screen the back four alongside Jamie Chandler and Lewis Hawkins in midfield. And we've got a front three again of on loan Sunderland winger Jack Diamond on the left, Ryan Hall on the right, and Glenn Taylor spearheading the attack. All yellow strip, yellow shirts, yellow shorts, yellow socks. And we've got Spenny Bowie in the black and white stripes, black shorts, and white socks. And we've just kicked off. Hereford of the kickoff. Played it forward to Liebert, who wins the header on, and it's safely in the hands of Matt Gold. Yeah, I was just talking about Rowan Liebert there. Uh, obviously scored against us for guys here in the season, but yeah, looked a real handful that day, and he signed on Thursday. He signed on Thursday on deadline day. Um, he's had a good season for Geisley, and he's looking to be doing the same here. So long kick by Gold. It's not cleared by Hereford. Spin him on attack. Jamie Chan inside the box. Oh, low shot. Goalkeeper Matt Yates dives full stretch. They push it round the post. Callum Williams plays it to Chandler, plays it back. Chandler's now on the ball, looks up, plays it back to James Curtis, who's just flicked it to Gold, who takes the extra touch inside. Gold's lost the ball. This is a big chance, that's a big, massive chance for Hereford. Gold tried to flick it ca calmly over the Liebird, lost the ball. Liebird looked like he had a top in. Anyway, it's Spenny now on the break. Jack Diamond, we'll come back to that one in a second. Jack Diamond plays it off Hickman, and it's a goal kick. Wow. Williams down this left hand side with a ball in his hand. He's looking to make a long throw. He plays it into Taylor. Taylor's wayward pass is picked up. Chance to win it back for Taylor. Looked a foul, but it's spinning away. Oh, off the ball on the left hand side. Jack Diamond with the left cut inside on his right foot. Edge of the box. It's a strike and it's straight at Yates. That's what Jack Diamond's all about getting in. Iceland, he's full back. Cutting inside. It was a good effort, but maybe like a bit of an Andrew Johnson type position there. You've seen him score from there plenty of times down towards the corner flag, his pull clearance is picked up by Jake Hickman, it's Diamond chasing the ball down, Burford is still in possession, it's O'Sullivan with the ball in that halfway line, loses in the 50-50 with Hall, tries to play Taylor through over the top, it's Penny Moore through, Jack Diamond 1v1 with a goalkeeper, and he's digged it over, oh he's missed the goal, a great chance for Penny Moore, 1v1, Taylor's flicked it over the top, Diamond's clean through with all the time in the world, yeah, a massive chance then. You've just got to think, Clay and Chandler. Chandler's made such a, a great run there. If you square it, it's a tap in. But even even so, he's gone for the lob. It's probably the hardest way he's probably going to score from there. Really, uh, dominant presence in the air, really. I don't think we utilise it enough. Here we go, Jake Hibbs, right-footed, free kick over. Taylor, free header, and he's headed it over the top, and he was onside as well. Despite Lewis having three golden chances in this first half an hour of the game. Corner kick from Spenny Moore by Lewis Hawkins, taken deeply. Run on for the better Taylor, off the bar, Thackeray headed. Unbelievable. Wow. It's cleared and it remains nil-nil. Great corner by Hawkins, Taylor, towering header. Yeah, you think that's in for a, what a great clearance it's cleared off the bar, back out. Chris Thackeray, another free header, cleared again. But if we keep if we keep doing what we're doing, the chances are still going to come as well. Yeah. You know, I'd be worried if we weren't creating any chances. You know, I know it's nil nil. Long long free kick. It's picked up by Lance Smith. Great save by Matt Gold. It looked a foul. Smith corner goal. Hereford have the lead. Spenny Moore failed to clear their lines. It was an initial great save by Gold. The ball's only cleared as far as Smith. He's drilled a low shot across Matt Gold into the far corner. Great initial save by Matt Gold and Lance Smith there, as soon as he gets the ball, you can just see the gap, the corridor that you need to put it in, finds the bottom corner. Yeah, it's, you know, we've just got to remain positive. Um, we've been, the Spenny Mill have been the better side. Good, Kieran! <laughs> 
Owen Evans to penalty. We'll give a penalty. Owen Evans nudged by Thackeray in the box. He's gone down, and the referee has given a penalty. We'll just read the uh, later scores out, and the Hereford now have a penalty. It was Owen Evans who went down inside the area, and it's Owen Evans who's going to take the penalty to double Hereford's lead. Three minutes before half time, and it's a penalty to Hereford, won by Owen Evans and taken by Owen Evans. He shouts and he scores. It's 2 0 to Hereford. To be negative at this point, but we've created chances. We didn't take them, yes. Hereford have come back to the game. Have they been worthy of a 2 0 lead to this stage? They haven't. I think the game's been more balanced than that, definitely. Um, but it's a case of staying positive now. There's no point. But we're on a bad run at the minute, but there's still everything to play for in this game. Two, three, no, then back on the front foot. Diamond on the left hand side, who's come inside, player, played it back to Rob Atkinson, who's under pressure. Bad back pass to Mackwald, Liebert's in, gone round Mackwald. It was drifted out wide, Liebert's in the box, goes racing back to Garamy's line. His, his cross is cleared by Atkinson. Liebert again crosses, deflected, and it's a corner to Hereford. But again, Spennymo on the front foot, on the break. Hereford, you know, could have perhaps made a 3-0 from a, from, a, from another era, you know. It goes into Chandler, Chandler kicks it back. Thackeray is then lost out to Thomas. Thomas is inside, right, left-hand side of the box, right inside the box. Matt Gold saves low down and saves at the second attempt. But again, it's all about fighting for the ball and Thackeray has got the ball, throws it to Chandler, gets it back and allows Thomas to win the ball off and run in the box, gets a shot away. Yeah, Matt Gold, I mean, Saves. Ball game. Spending more on the attack. Hall picks out Diamond. Diamond's gone centrally. Jamie Tanner making a burst and run down the right hand side. Touch line. Diamond again inside on the edge of the box. Curls it over the keeper and it's headed behind bravely by Jack Hickman with Glenn Taylor lurking, ready just to head it into an empty net. Hereford yeah. now on the break with the dangerous fin. And the full time whistle goes. The final score is Spending Lower Town nil. Hereford. Two. Yeah, frustrating, disappointing afternoon at the Brewery Field. It really was. It was a. Uh, you expected a response in the second half from Spanu players after them two goals conceded in the first, but it never really came. And to be honest, we did, did create a lot. Uh, but, you know, luckily for us, as I said before, we've got games coming up thick and fast on the Tuesday, on the Saturday. Guys, he'd, on Tuesday, looks like a winnable fixture on paper, as this did. Obviously, he's never played anything in this league. And Ashton away next Saturday. Ashton struggling down the bottom, so 